the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So finally guys, C3 Update 15 of Blast Fruits is here. So for my first video, I decided to unlock Awaken the Magma Fruit. All skills, okay? So here we are in the lab. By the way, I am with my brother Eroses, as always. So guys, your thoughts. Magma Fruit. Guys, I think this fruit will be very strong. In, at par with the Flame Fruit in terms of damage, I think. Cooldown wise, let's see guys, let's see. Okay, so we are buying our microchip now. There you go, magma fruit, and let's start, okay? So same with other fruits. There are five, five or four stages, bro. Four? Five, five islands, sorry. Okay, so here we go. It's a, it's a good thing that we started the raid at night. Because my brother's race, what's your race again, bro? Goal? So I don't know if it has effect, but... I haven't dwelled in that aspect of the game so far. Me, uh, I have the human, human, right? Yeah, human race. Shout out to all humans and goals. <laughs> okay, so here we are, guys. As you can see, the island, it's very easy to finish. Why? Not compared to the light raid, there are times that mobs get stuck, right? So here, it's very easy to defeat. Just go in the middle, use your skills. Me, I have the last stand, so I make sure to use uh, my magma meteor with the light uh, last resort okay so here we are second island guys it has a mountain right just let them be let them be there you go just lure them lure them guys check it out my screen it's always in the eagle's eye i was using it with that eagle's eyes view because so, again some uh what do you call this mobs might get stuck and we don't want that we are in a time trial. So the fastest time that we finish it, the best. Okay? So as you can see guys, I am kinda used to raiding. Gamer Nom, what are you using? Uh, for the accessory, I'm using Z Santa Hat. I don't have those other OP items yet. Uh, race again, last resort. I'm using the Death Step and the Magma Fruit. There you go. Mastery for my Magma Fruit, I think it's like 400 plus, yeah, 456. So as you can see guys, my brother has the light fruit, not fully awakened, but we already talked about it. He will go first in the island since magma flight is not that fast. So he will lure and then when I reach the island, I will use my last resort as well as the magma meteor. Okay, so that's our strategy. And guys, spoiler alert, we were, we were able to finish it in our first try. There you go. Guys, I'm so hyped right now. We will be unlocking all these powers, okay? Okay, so here we go. Okay, see that guys? Light fruit plus magma fruit combination. Erases and Gamer Norm. Smells like a brand of victory. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so here we are guys, Island 4. I think this is the last, right bro? No? Oh, one more, sorry. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Okay. Guys, the disadvantage, when you're doing it at night, it's kind of hard to see the enemies. There you go. Guys, what I really like with this game is that there's a countdown, right? You can still play the game and then when the developers or they posted that the game is already on, you don't need to wait for it. Like, okay, just log in, right? It's cool. I really appreciate what the developers are doing. Shout out to them. There you go. Guys, in using, uh, what do you call this, Magma Fruit, what I saw is that you need to, like, uh, don't be static, okay? always move because if you got hit and you got stunned and it's all over okay okay so i think we are reaching yeah there you go see that see that guys my brother's already there so the enemy the boss is already spawning so he's responsible for luring etc and i am responsible for the damage as we all know uh, light fruit has 
not so good damage compared to magma guys i'm telling you magma fruit has a very high damage output so here we are okay so guys uh my art technique is that make sure to defeat the mobs while damaging the boss don't just focus on the boss because sometimes you might get hit by the mobs okay so take care there you go guys while seeing the boss attack i'm getting amazed how good the awakened magma fruit is okay so I'm so excited guys on unlocking all of it again make sure to have enough shards okay enough shards 15k i think that's enough but if you wanna like unlock uh two awakened fruits now right the human buddha and the uh, magma fruit you need at least 30 to 40k and hopefully you were able to save for that okay so i think the boss okay we're just gonna defeat the boss guys again tips on how to defeat this just stay in the middle lower it okay but continue dodging circular dodge there you go okay there you go we defeated it we got 800 okay so for our first Skill to unlock the Z skill, right? Okay, there you go. So we have the Magma Shower. Wow, it really looks cool. So for the next skill, we will be unlocking the Magma Flight. There you go. Four, you can unlock this for, uh, I think it's 2,000. Guys, sorry, it's raining really, really hard right now. I'll try to lower the background sound, but please bear with it, okay? So here it is. There you go, the Magma Flight. So guys, from what I know with this skill, you can damage your enemy the moment that you release your F. Okay, so we're gonna try that later. So for our next skill, we will be unlocking our X skill, the Magma Column. There you go. How much will it cost me, Game Alarm? I will show it to you again. There you go. For 3,000. So now we've already used like 5,500, right? There you go. Boom. There you go. That's the skill. Okay, so after this, what's next? The C skill, and we can buy it for I think 4,000 shards. There you go, a session. Yeah, 4,000 for the C skill and 5,000 for the V skill. So, guys, after this, we've already unlocked the, we've already awakened the Magma Fruit. I'm gonna show you all the skills. We're gonna try it with my brother. We'll try the Coliseum later, okay, the 1v1. But first, guys, thanks to Jeb, he helped us unlocking. The two remaining skills because we don't have fruit <laughs> left okay so here we go this is a first skill guys this is the highest damage uh this is the highest damage in terms of, of all the awakened skills there you go did you see that guys the damage was so high i think 5k i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong it's just the first time that i uh use this skill this is the next skill the column guys make sure to aim properly do you see that no damage at all again x skill make sure to aim properly there you go okay see that guys there's damage according to my brother 2k damage something like that so this is a third skill there you go the great magma hound just the better version of the first c skill obviously one more time boom okay next up is the volcanic storm guys this really looks cool and this is skill if you look at it the damage is so high but comparing it to the magma shower Magma Shower has a higher damage. Boom, there you go, guys. Really looks cool. So, guys, again, I haven't used this much. So, I need to learn more about this fruit or awakened fruit. Okay? Okay, so there you go. So, last one, the Magma Flight. Again, guys, I'm telling you, there's a damage using this flight. Again, let's try it. Check this out, guys. Okay? So, the moment you release your F or your flight, We'll try to hit my brother with this. There you go. Boom. You see that, guys? There is damage. So that will be it for this video, guys. Later, I will be showcasing other fruits, okay? So again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom with Aerosys. And again, shout out to Jeb for helping us. See you later on my next video. Bye-bye.